Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Danny Hu. How are you doing today, Danny? I'm very good. How are you, Richard? I'm doing fantastic. Danny is the Corporate Development Manager of Neo Battery Materials. And my first question for you, Danny, is could you give us a quick introduction to Neo Battery Materials and highlights of your business developments for those new to the company? Yes. So Neo Battery Materials is a low-cost technology developer of silicon anode materials. Now, what silicon anode materials does in the lithium-ion battery is that it solves the slow charging problem of electric vehicles today by enabling ultra-fast charging. And it can also solve the limited runtime of the battery by extending how long the battery runs. And we can also decrease uh, the cost of EV batteries today. So Neo is one of the lowest cost developer of silicon anode materials as we utilize one of the most cost-effective production process as well as the most inexpensive inputs uh, compared to current competitors. So we have over 45 NDAs signed with global battery manufacturers and EV automakers as well. And recently we signed NDAs with North American battery manufacturers as well. So we're ongoing testing, optimization, and due diligence with these parties. Now, what we're doing is we're sending optimized samples to them, and they are giving us feedback to create this effective feedback loop in which we take those feedback and we uh, optimize them on the spot in real time. So these global players have highly commented on the performance as well as the economics compared to uh, the current uh, silicon anode competitors. And we can expect collaboration, joint development, and or offtake agreements once specific requirements and optimization levels are met for these parties. And in terms of commercialization, uh, we can expect to build the commercial plant in South Korea by the first half of 2024. And we're currently in the best position in terms of fundamentals, capabilities, and the expertise to move on to the next stages of progress. That's fantastic. And Danny, earlier this week, Neo signed a collaboration agreement with a high-performance carbon nanotube developer. Could you tell the audience more about this? Yes. Uh, so we did indeed sign a collaboration agreement with NanoReal, a high-technology company that focuses on developing fully dispersed carbon nanotubes, or known as CNT for short. So the purpose of this collaboration is to use NanoReal's CNT as an effective nanocoating material on our silicon anodes to improve the stability and performance of our products. So in other words, we're trying to improve the runtime how long the battery runs, as well as the fast charging characteristics of the battery itself. So NanoReal is also engaged with global multinational firms testing their CNT products to improve battery characteristics. So we will also collaborate to share our network and expand mutual business opportunities through our working relationship. So once Neil redomiciles into Ontario after our annual general meeting, we will start to jointly apply to governmental programs for non-dilutive funding. So this includes a direct funding from the Ontario provincial government, a next generation manufacturing through super cluster projects, as well as the larger programs offered at the federal level through the Department of Innovation, Science and Economic Development. So this is one of the many collaboration agreements that we expect to accomplish and we're in well positioned to go underway to become a global tier one supplier of silicon anode materials. That is very exciting. And in more exciting news, one of the biggest pieces of the news we've been waiting for for a long time, we've heard that the construction permit has been approved for the South Korean commercial plant. Congratulations. That's huge news. Now, where is the company in terms of construction progress and what are the next steps? Yes, uh, this indeed is long-awaited significant news for us. And the city that in which we're going to construct our commercial plant has given us the commercial uh, construction permit approval uh, for the commercial plant uh, last uh, month in January. So both optimization from the R&D team and the commercialization team are on track and we are well underway to start production after completing the facility in the first half of 2024, as I've mentioned. So the initial capacity would be about 240 tons per year, 
that supplies to about 160,000 electric vehicles. And when we scale up this facility, it will be a minimum 2,000 to 5,000 tons per year. And from a top to bottom calculation, uh, we're expecting to capture a minimum of 3% of the 2028 market share just through the South Korean facility itself. So the next stages of construction would be basic civil engineering, where we get the waterworks and how we're going to get the energy delivered solved, as well as the site clearance, as this is a greenfield project. And we're also going to be selecting an ideal contractor uh, through a bid process as well. And many might be wondering about financing, and I sort of touched this on the last interview, but uh, just to reiterate, we're actively engaged to secure long-term reliable investors that will help NEO with our commercialization efforts. So we're prioritizing institutional investors and corporations in the EV battery or chemical manufacturing supply chain to provide strategic investments for construction and equipment as well. So we deem that progress in terms of business is important, but we also understand minimizing equity dilution and also achieving the optimal capital structure is key for value maximization uh, for a company itself. So additionally, we're also in talks with multiple South Korean financial institutions to lock in strategic debt financing at low interest rate terms for MBM uh, Korea, which is our South Korean subsidiary. So we're try trying to balance this uh, mixed portion of equity and debt to move on to commercialization. And also with this, uh, we're also targeting non dilutive funding through provincial and federal government programs in South Korea. And the foreign complex that we're constructing our plant in is already giving us subsidies provided by the provincial government for equipment purchases, employment, as well as training. And on the federal level, the South Korean government is actively trying to channel funds uh, into the EV supply chain players. And we are going to be actively looking uh, to capture one of these uh, funding channels as well in South Korea. That's fantastic. And Danny, with your plans to expand into the USA, Neo Battery Materials has also recently appointed a chief science officer to help with this development. Could you give us a high level overview of the company's expansion strategy? Yes. So we recently appointed Dr. Bassett F. Swain as the chief science officer to govern scientific discoveries as well as research efforts. And he's an expert in green materials, sciences, engineering, as well as lithium ion battery recycling. So this is a significant development for our company because we're trying to fortify our knowledge base and the leadership team to pull commercialization progress to a faster pace. So he has more than 20 years of experience in battery materials process development, and he has sort of vital roles in commercialization of mass production systems as well as multi-million dollar projects related to batteries and recycling as well. So he'll boost our expansion efforts into the US, especially with the new value added project of silicon waste recycling, which I'll touch upon later. And we're also planning to add a chief technology officer who will govern commercialization efforts and a PhD senior research engineer. So a bigger talent pool and technological expertise is going to mean swifter progress. And we're going to have to prepare more for collaborative opportunities with global NJ partners. So this can be sort of viewed as a general expansion strategy to increase our capacity in terms of both capabilities and human capital as well. And just to touch on the expansion into the US, we're under process to establish MBM America in Ohio as our subsidiary. And many might wonder why Ohio, but there are two gigafactories that, are, that one is built and one is planned by LG Energy Solutions, which is the second largest battery manufacturer in the world. And currently Ohio is recognized as the key epicenter uh, for the U.S. battery supply chain moving forward. And to give you a general overview of our expansion plan, the first pillar will be to expanding our core silicon anode business in North America, because we recognize that North America is an integral growing market in the EV battery supply chain. And especially in the U.S., there are several gigafactories that are going to be involved, and foreign firms are pouring out their FDIs to um, build these factories as well. And as the pillar two strategy, we're searching for new value-added projects that can add to NEO's business portfolio. And as I've mentioned, we're prioritizing silicon waste recycling because we found a new opportunity to potentially decrease our input costs by an additional 40%. And this silicon waste recycling comes from a semiconductor companies as well as a solar cell companies. 
And there are numerous US-based semiconductor firms that we can be working with, which includes Intel, AMD, as well as NVIDIA. So with MDM America, we'll be targeting state and federal level funding, especially with the Inflation Reduction Act. And many venture capitalists that focus on sustainability and clean tech will be able to channel their funds into the private company as well. So we'll provide more business development uh, through further updates and with interviews with Rich TV Live as well. Super excited. Thank you so much for your time. The Corporate Development Manager, Danny He of Neo Battery Materials. The symbol in Canada is NBM. The symbol in America is NBMFF. Put it on your radar. Put it on your watch list. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners. We bring you the news, CEO interviews, chart analysis, and we bring it to you first. I also want to let you know that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk or discuss about. However, we believe that Neo Battery Materials is very undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. And we believe it's one that everyone should put on their radar and on their watch list because we think the upside is absolutely exponential. Danny, thank you for joining us once again today. All right. Thanks so much, Richard. Always a pleasure. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Rich from Rich to Be Live with Danny Hu from Neo Battery Materials saying, have a nice day. We'll see you soon.